For 12 years, Diane Stewart's memory had suffered the grossest injustice. Thought at first to have died suddenly from epilepsy, today the killer was revealed to be her husband, Ian, the man who made this call to police after murdering her. Is she breathing? I don't think so. I've, tried, I've turned her to try and put in recovery position, but I can't do it. She's she, she just flopped back. I think she's had a fit. You think she's had a fit? Well, I think so. She does have epilepsy. Stuart claimed he found Diane collapsed in the garden of their Cambridgeshire home. For years, prosecutors said he'd been able to fool medical professionals. And that might have been the end of it had he not killed again. Seven years after Diane's death, Stuart was convicted of murdering his new fiancée, novelist Helen Bailey. Her body was found in a cesspit underneath the home they shared in Hertfordshire. That grisly murder forced police to reopen the case into Diane's death. Mr Stewart, uh, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of your late wife, Diane You're joking. Stewart. They arrested and interviewed Stuart, who was already serving a 34-year sentence. Can you tell us about her condition? And re-examined his wife's brain, which she donated to medical research. They found evidence of prolonged restriction to her breathing for up to an hour. Very unusual for us to, be, to, to go back in, in time like this and reinvestigate something that, uh, that occurred that many years before. I think Ian Stewart is a, a master manipulator. Um, he is a very skilled liar. The crimes are wicked enough, but then to lie and have the impact that, it, that it's had on his immediate friends, his own children, you know, close uh, family and friends of, of both ladies uh, is a particularly wicked and despicable thing to do. After the trial today, Diane's sons, Jamie and Oliver, said, our mum was amazing. It's been really upsetting the last six years to have to recall the events of the toughest time of our life. We now look forward to recalling the many happy moments we had growing up as a family. Justice is sometimes no more than a silver lining. Today, finally, it was done for Diane Stewart. Jay Akbar, 5 News.